Ruffy, Huey athlete, Jacob Scrawley, coming out to Winnebago to uh, spur a few Bronx. Got on Dreamer and Hang 'em High, and uh, we're just bucking stock around the clock. Boone did fantastic. Yeah. Building champions, old son. So what we had going on was we've got a, a guy that's new to bronc riding who wants to get on bucking horses and we're trying to set up this new saddle that we've got. And kind of the way that we've been about it today is an older saddle horse that's used to all this going on, you know, feet being around his neck and it's not, you know, he's cooperating good. And the biggest thing was setting the saddle after you've been on the ground and you know, you've kicked around in it, it doesn't feel too tight, your legs can, you've got some freedom under your swells, is putting it on the saddle horse and making sure that you've got freedom, you know, in here. Like you've got pressure on your feet. Whenever you spur back, your leg isn't getting pushed over the top of your swells, you're still under your swell. And then you have pressure on your feet, but not too much. You know, earlier, whenever we first did it, it was tight, the stirrups were creaking, everything was real bound up. We let them out a few holes. Now he can move around there, set his feet like he would on the mark out, and he's still not getting pushed out of the saddle. So uh, as long as he's lifting, the saddle should hold on to him. And uh, now only time will tell. <laughs> he's fatter than he's ever been. So he's just, I don't know. Whoa, Boone. Um, we're on the beaches of Winnebago, and it's a glorious day, late April, where typically there's a lot of fun Texas rodeos going on right now. One of the only ones going on is this one. Jacobs is about to spur down the Winnebago Buckers. First he's getting on Brisket, then the Baptist. It's an old friend of Jacobs. He got on him in 09, right after he went to the NFR. The horse. Jacobs soon went to the NFR thereafter. Here he is, spurring him on the beach. It's 2020, old son. PRCA, kick off soon. <laughs> Whenever you get on the spur board, think of it as being kind of slow, controlled, you know what I'm saying? Like, kind of remember and visualize kind of how it's set now, and then that way, if something changes, something rips out, you can get on the spur board and you can remember, hey, I'm supposed to be loose here, I'm supposed to be, you know, I'm, this needs to be come up, this needs to be let out, that type thing. The spur board, I feel like is it's a controlled, kind of slow pace, definitely at the start and then you can kind of speed up and go on from there. So the biggest thing here is just, you're just creating muscle memory. You know what I mean? Just from your, cause it's different, you know, your shoulders are back, you know, everything about riding like a saddle horse. If, if a guy's, you know, learns how to ride up, this is your shoulders are back behind your hips. You drive everything up underneath your swells and you're just, you create, you know, muscles that you might not use every other day. You know what I'm saying? Whenever you start spurring back. So, um, you can kick around in it just real easy, just trying to be controlled. And um, we'll start it from there, brother. But just set your feet and then kind of hold them in the front. And you're really trying to put pressure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're, I mean, whenever you, whenever you set your feet, like, and it's, it comes with time, mm -hmm. but you almost want your saddle to pick up because you've, you're driving your hips so hard that like the momentum is picking everything up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yes, so then whenever you do it and it's attached to the horse, your legs will go that much higher. Whenever you set them, really set them and just mash with those heels. Then after you've got that pause there for a couple seconds, it's a second and a half, whatever, then try and be real controlled, spurring back, thinking about, you know, keeping as much pressure as you can on that heel and that spur and then up underneath that swell. And then whenever they reach that point, you just fire them back down, same way. So, I know you all know that. I know you know that. I was just gonna, no, yeah, just reinforce just those. Yeah, that's all she is at this point. Just like that. There you go. And then just kind of spur back real easy, and then you got it. And then you're staying under them swells. You're lifting square and breathing. Yes, sir. And you see how loose they look on on your spur board. Uh -huh. Well, you had them on the horse. They weren't loose. I think that's it. I, I think the spur board, it's a great tool. 
it, but it's one of those things that it's a game of repetition and it's that controlled repetition and you'll just slowly build strength in your legs doing that you know that spur lick and then you'll look up and it won't be next week but it might be next month you know what i'm saying and it's just like all of a sudden the light's gonna hit <laughs>